Hi, I'm Lauren Campé. Welcome to Stealing Virtuoso. Today, we are going to talk about the elegy number two, the Romanza Dramatica of Bottesini. So this is one of my favorite pieces. I love to play it and uh, love to listen to it. It's always a pleasure to, to play this music. Um, there is something in the spirit general. You know, the elegy in Genoa is a, is a music that we, um, we write for some, someone who dead. It's always melancholic or dramatic or something like this. So we have to, to, to find this expression, this intensity in our hands. So we have to, to put all the intensity and the feelings, deep feelings that we can have inside. We have to put it on uh, the hands and on the double bass. Yeah, there is things to, to express uh, the intensity with the vibrato, with the non-vibrato, the how to develop the sound, how to have a, a sound really light or really uh, uh, fat. For, for example, the beginning, we have the introduction really dramatic of the piano. So we have to be intense when you, you, you appear. So maybe we can find a color present but not too loud because it's a piano espressivo. So just find to, to color the notes with density of sound in the bow and density of vibrato. So all the pieces who begin like this with one note really long. Uh, this knot has to live and to express something really special and uh, to evaluate. Um, for example, I, I start the sound without vibrato, but with a slow speed of bow. And I, I, I start to press a bit the bow and to vibrate. And I release at the end. Like this. So the note has a beginning, a middle and an end. I think it makes it consistent. So, one other important thing is, of course, the changing of bow. Sometimes we have a, a bit difficulties to, to do changing of bow, which is really discreet and uh, really flexible, like this. And sometimes it, it will be... a little speed of bow at the end of the nuts so just to, to work and to, to go against that uh, because it creates waves in the sound and that is not good um, just do the opposite just play it down and slow down the bow and go in the other way Here the same. Try to be the more calm as possible and uh, without speed like this. Nervous speed and sometimes we, 
we don't control that. Try to, to have the arm the most equal and the most balanced as possible.